Alright, so I found a uh, use for the other bit of LED tape that I have kicking around, uh, which I'll still have quite a lot after. Uh, there was a place being torn down uh, nearby where being cut it out, and I got some exit signs. I got three of them. One of them is a bit smaller than this. One is the same size but single-sided. This one is dual-sided, and they're a little scratched up. But for some reason, an exit sign is just one of those peculiar things that I've always liked. And I always would like, would have wanted to have, kind of like the old Geiger counter I have. Various other things, just having an exit sign for some reason appeals to me. Uh, <laughs> and I actually almost got one years ago traveling, but I uh, didn't get it then. So hey, I have some now, and they're a little rough. Uh, I might repaint them. Uh, maybe not. Uh, might be interesting in black. Anyways, uh, I'm going to put the LED tape in these, uh, just on the left and right sides of that. <clears throat> Not going to use that much, but it'll replace all the main stuff. And they use some actually quite interesting bulbs. Uh, it's kind of like two glass envelopes inside of each other, filled with further incandescent lamps. And they're all burnt out as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting sort of... I I don't know, I guess this is a way to get a more diffused sort of light. Uh, and I was going to use some of those uh, square 10 watt LEDs. Um, <clears throat> but the problem is that they put off a lot of heat, way more than the LED tape. Uh, so thermal management would have been an issue. Same with diffusing the light so that it wasn't one big hot spot. The strip on each side should diffuse out pretty well. I could put a bit of opaque plastic <clears throat> or semi-transparent plastic down the middle uh, if it's still an issue. Not sure what I'm going to do power supply wise, would be nice to incorporate something. Um, <clears throat> the only things I have ink will be too big right now so I might have to rig something up uh, just from scratch or find an old power adapter that will be hard to reach. <clears throat> but yeah, should be a fun little project so I'm going to get all the sound right now. Alright so there we have it, I ended up having to go uh, top and bottom. Uh, with the LED strips, they just didn't reach in far enough to the metal. Uh, and it diffuses, it looks much better on camera, actually. Uh, there's a little bit of color gradient, uh, a little bit darker in the middle, naturally. Uh, and this top one is a little bit off-center, uh, just because there's holes and things for mounting stuff. Uh, <clears throat> it's working pretty good, plenty of light on the bottom of these uh, slats here for, I guess, doorway illumination. Uh, and the whole thing draws about 400 milliamps at 12 volts. And uh, if we <coughs> crack it open, you can pretty much see bright ass LED strips. If we go ahead and turn that off, uh, we just have a little bit of hot glue stuff left. Uh, this one had to go over some little jumps. So there's several hot glue across the spaces. Wire running down, and another strip down here with just hot glue at the uh, intervals between uh, just the grates. Just because the <coughs> surface wasn't completely clean. And the LED tape, I did notice, uh, did let go a bit on the server rack. Uh, so I just, uh, just at one end, pretty much. Uh, just because of the weight of the wire hanging down on it. So I just uh, <coughs> glued up the ends of each strip just to help prevent that. But yeah. So, there we are. So, yeah, I just need to find a decent power supply and somewhere to mount this. And, uh, LED exit sign. A little quick, sort of, 10 minute project, really, with all the quitting and stuff. Alright, so for the issue of a uh, power supply, um, I can't really fit anything in here that won't block stuff to go right from 120 volt to, to uh, 12 volt that I have. Um,. <clears throat> And anyways, uh, I have a little 5.9 volt, uh, just little old phone adapter, and I have a little cheap uh, boost converter here. It actually takes it up to something. Yeah, uh, it can go like ludicrously high to like uh, 40 volts or something. Uh, but I just have it boosting up to 12 volts, or at least that's what it was. Uh, <clears throat> it drew one amp, well, or over on uh, the little power supply there. Uh, the power supply that it's hooked up to is 400 milliamps, but it's actually um, quite uh, nice illumination. It's not quite as bright as the 12 volts, uh, so it's actually not quite as distracting. 
And that is something that I could quite, uh, quite pleasantly leave on pretty much constantly, because it's not very distracting at all. Uh, or at least, you know, for now. So what I'll probably do is mount up a switch in that. Um, just cut this wire back, basically, and then put in this, uh, boost converter. I'll leave it running for a while to see if the, uh, little power supply down there complains. Um, but yeah, it seems like a pretty good solution, and then I'll just mount it up by the door on the ceiling there. Alright, so here we have the finished product. Um, I wanted to use a toggle switch, but I didn't have one, uh, so I used a, a drill bit and nibbler uh, for the switch side of things, and it actually turned out pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap there that you can see. Just focus. Um, but yeah, not bad. Uh, and I found a green LED in this uh, housing that I never got to use, one of the nice sort of diffused, fairly dim ones. And so I've got that hooked up on the switch side with a couple of resistors. Uh, 2.2 volts while the sign is off. Drops to about 1.9 or so when the sign is on, just because these LEDs take so much damn power. Um, so I have power coming in, up along here, into the switch, both uh, positive and negative switch, just because it was convenient. Uh, both tied down to this uh, power booster. Uh, can't remember the proper term, because I'm tired as fuck. Uh, and then I have the output set to about 10 volts. I could do 12, um, but I, do, I don't like how this dims down while the rest of the sign is on. Can't really help it, though, um, until I get a better power supply. And then I can just toggle this thing to be one-to-one -one instead of dealing with taking it out. Um, so 10 volts going out, and so basically you switch the switch, lights come on, switch again, lights go off and it provides nice smooth illumination for the most part and it's pretty easy to switch so you'll see when I turn this it dims down while everything else comes on I would like that to be full brightness but it is a decent enough power indicator still so it's just so that you can tell that there's power going to the sign and then you can switch it off and on and off at your leisure there's a little bit of a gradient a little bit of shadow here just from the uh, Power supply itself, I think. Yeah, just from the, uh, actually the, uh, trim pot. But it's not too bad. I mean, it, I, I really don't like it. But it's too difficult to fix. And, uh, the other side is pretty good, actually. For some reason, this side, you can't see it on camera, but it's a little bit darker in the middle. And these are a little bit too bright, almost as if it's not, like, the... It's sort of fiberglass plastic that's red. Um, almost as if that's a little bit, uh thin on that one. But this side is pretty good and uh when it's night time it's not well yeah it's still pretty noticeable. Uh oh actually you might be able to, yeah you can see how it's a bit brighter on the edges there. But <clears throat> this side is a little bit more even. It's a bit brighter down here. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that and it has a decent amount of light coming out the bottom so you can find the doorway. Although that's not very difficult. So, yeah. Toggleable LED uh, exit sign conversion for some reason. So I'll mount that up uh, with a power cord. Uh, although it is quite a decent length of cable, I still need one to get to a nearby outlet. So, there you have it. LED exit sign for some reason. And there we go, all installed with the cord, mostly tucked away. Pointing to an exit, which is obvious to everyone. But why not?